Defending the President, Part 1, Defending Against the Right. The normal political distribution has been distorted in recent decades as more and more conservatives have adopted or tolerated far-right positions. Ever since Obama won the Democratic nomination, he has been besieged by a merciless, anything-goes assault from the right. Such tactics run counter to the principles of democracy. Those on the right claim the protesting of Obama is no different than the protesting against Bush. The truth is there is no comparison. Our side was protesting what Bush was actually doing. Well, they are protesting imaginary, made-up, whacked-out claims and predictions lodged against President Obama. The Bush administration actually did institute rendition, torture, indefinite incarceration without trial, you know, suspended habeas corpus, did war in his searches and seizures, and even went to war over fictional weapons of mass destruction. To be fair, not all conservatives spout every one of these nonsense claims. Some are just too damn kooky, and they don't want to come across sounding like a nut. Now, I will show most of the wild accusations that have been lobbed at President Obama, including the more Looney Tune ones. Now realize Obama is being used as a stand-in for everyone on our side. With just a simple search of YouTube, their wild claims can be found. Bottom line is extremism is as extremism does. Now I didn't make this stuff up, this is their own accusations. So you know, I, I'm going to get them some comments and everything, but it's like, hey, it's your own stuff. The patron saint of the right, Reagan, quoted, extremism is no vice in the defense of liberty. But the right is not defending liberty, and extremism is always a vice because it is extreme. Hyper ideology armed with Citizens United deep pockets is posing a serious threat to real democracy. And here's why with their nonsense, their money, and their dirty dealing, if they get into power, they are likely to stay in there for a long time. Our country, full of long-term problems, cannot survive if it is run a nonsensical ideology. You know, I truly believe 2012 is D-Day for real democracy in our country. Bye.